Hey guys, a bonus video today. I want to talk about the tendency to add a lot of volume for no reason at all. Before I get into that topic, guys, I encourage you to stick around the end of this video, find out how you can reach me, the big hairy ugly dude, with your questions and our comments. So, the other day, there's a guy that I witnessed who left one program, one workout program, and was feeling super motivated, super motivated guy. So he decides to go into the gym without any rhyme or reason and proceeds to do 15 sets of squats or something like that. And I don't want to single the guy out, but maybe he's listening, maybe he's not. This is a perfect example of misguided training. Say you're a super motivated guy. Let's just set him aside just because this happens to everybody. You're a super motivated guy. And you're just feeling super motivated that day. And you just want to go into the gym and do something utterly ridiculous. Guys, you know, you can't go to the gym and believe that you can just automatically insert more volume and that will increase your gains by that much more. It doesn't work that way, kids. It doesn't work that way. You might wake up the next day with an incredible amount of doms and not be able to walk and it'll make you feel you know, I'm all proud and all that kind of stuff. But you know, over the long haul, A, it's not sustainable. B, it'll beat your joints to crap. And C... It doesn't focus on progression. Everything has to come back to progression. If you want to go into the workout in the gym and kill yourself, that's fine. That's fine. But if you're going to do a workout, if you're going to do some crazy ass stuff, then you know, just go in and do it for fun. Don't don't believe it's some kind of super muscle building session. Because most likely it's not a super muscle building session. It's just a body destruction session. It's not sustainable. If you believe it's sustainable and you want to make it sustainable, you better have some kind of a progression approach. And God help you if you're doing 15 sets of squats a day, how, or a, a day how, um, I don't know how the hell you're going to plan on uh, progressing on that. That's just crazy insane. It'll take you months just to adapt to the workload before you can even start to improve your performance. So guys, the point is, if you're feeling super motivated to hit the gym, my main advice is just to put that extra energy into each set, into each set in your existing program and try to smash PRs, try to get that extra one or two reps, put that extra energy into that. Put that extra energy into that if you're if you still have extra energy at the end of the day, you know, throw in a few extra sets of this, a few extra sets of that, you know, a few extra maybe you might even do bicep curls in the squat rack or planks on one of those stability balls or rotator cuff work or something. Be smart. When you go into the gym and start adding all kinds of volume out of the blue or start trying to, you know, hit your deadlift PR for 20 reps on a given day, you're, you're, you're risking injury. You're doing something that's really stupid. If you would like to work up to 15 sets of squats per day, which I don't, I would never do, but if you do and you're at five right now, it's got to be a gradual change, guys. It's got to be a gradual change. You don't just go and do, you don't just go and do something Deciding, well, if I get my squats up to 15 sets per day, then my workouts will be perfect. You don't do that kind of stuff, guys. You have to listen to your body. If you're at five sets of squats per day and you're making progress, there's, there's no reason to jump to six. There's no reason to add an extra load. The main goal is progression and pa backed with consistency. If you are progressing and you are hitting the gym consistently, then you really don't need much else. If you're going to try to rush the process by all of a sudden jumping up some variable by 10 times its normal you know, level, you're just going to risk injury, guys. You're just going to risk injury. I hope this video has made some sense, guys. If you have any questions or comments, there is a link below to my forum Q&A. 
You can stop by, ask me questions on training, strength training, muscle building, diet, nutrition, supplementation. I'd be glad to help you out. So guys, as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.